So I was kind of shocked at talking to somebody. I was explaining about the, the coins of um, Dumayeds. I said, well, what about Christianity? You could say the same thing about that. That for the first 150 years, there's not a trace. No, you can't. But that, that led me to these things. <laughs> um, I'm not going to read to you the full uh, the trial with Pliny persecuting Christians. Uh, but yeah, you know, walking into the you know, Orthodox Church, you see the martyrs right there. But to give you a perspective on how people, people think, oh, Rome was so tolerant and beautiful. They were thugs. They were murderers. They were Nazis. Um, the Nazis built great stuff, too. They're great engineers. Man, could they make a tank. They made the Autobahn. They civilized those savage Celts, even though they had their own civilization. They weren't savage. Um, so let's see. Uh, <coughs> Tacitus. In the Annals, he writes, um, and this is the uh, <coughs> this is the account that he gives, and he talks about his own personal feelings in here about the destruction of the Christians under Nero, 64 A.D. Consequently, to get rid of the report, Nero fastened the guilt, and because people accused him. of Singing while Rome burned and because and all this stuff, which maybe because he built his own private lake with his weird boat and actually found the boat and had these terracotta pipes that would heat the floor and everything. Real weird, weirdo. Everybody knows about Nero, I guess. Consequently, to get rid of the report, Nero fastened the guilt and inflicted the most. Uh, the most exquisite tortures on a class of on a class hated for their abominations called Christians by the populace. Christus, which Christus is the Latin form of Christos or Christ, um, from whom the name had its origin, suffered an extreme penalty during the reign of Tiberius at the hands of one of his of one of our procurators, Pontius Pilate, and and a most mich mis mischievous superstition. Thus he checked for the moment, again broke only, again broke out not only in Judea, the first source of the evil, but even in Rome, where all things hideous and shameful from every part of the world find their, <coughs> find their center and become popular. According, accordingly, an arrest was first made of all who pleaded guilty thereon upon their information an immense multitude of convictions so not so much for their crime of firing the city as of their hatred against mankind mockery of every sort was added to their deaths covered in skins of beasts they were torn by dogs and perished and were nailed to crosses and were doomed to flames and burnt to serve as nightly illumination when daylight expired. So you despise these people just because of what they believed, and he doesn't really he talks about the historical Jesus, but he doesn't mention what these people believe. Um, it, would, it burns me up to oh, he could have gotten that from Mark. Now you're putting an early date on Mark. And that's going to travel all the way over there. That Christians are just... This is, I mean, this is a professional historian. Tacitus, Celsus, Blinders, Tonys. These people were professional historians. Um, somebody named Pontius Pilate didn't exist. And it wasn't this incident that happened in Jerusalem where you sectarian breaking out. This is before the temple was destroyed, mind you. 
Uh, <coughs> Pliny writes, uh, he's, he's writing this to Trajan. They were accustomed to meet, talking about the Christians, they were accustomed to meet on a fixed day before dawn and singing response, responsively a hymn to Christ as to a God. Bound themselves to a solemn oath not to do any wicked deeds, but never to commit any fraud, theft, adultery, never to fals falsify their word, not to deny a trust when they should be called upon to deliver it up. Uh, when it was over, it was custom to depart and to assemble again to partake of a meal, but ordinarily and innocent, but ordin ordinary and innocent food. Uh, then uh, Pliny goes into how he's torturing the Christians. Um, he'll torture the Christians to get them to confess, and then he'll sentence them to death. And then you need to just kill these people. Um, and uh, if they were a Roman citizen, then you couldn't do that on the spot. And then this dude was Pliny to Johnny on the spot with the nun. The non citizens, such peaceful and tolerant Romans, right? Um, and he, he's continuing after he says about, uh, you know, you torture the people and then you get them to confess and then you sentence them to death. Great way to go. He says, even this practice, however, they had abandoned their publication of my edict, by which, according to your orders, I had forbidden political associations. Therefore, I judged <coughs> it so much more necessary to extract the real truth uh, with the assistance of torture from two female slaves who were who were styled deaconesses. But I could not discover I I could discover nothing more than depraved and excessive superstition. Superstition, in this case, meaning illegal religion. In the meanwhile, the method I have observed towards them, this is a different section, who have denounced to me as who have denounced to me as Christians is this. I interrogate them whether they were Christians. If they confess it, I repeat it I repeat the question twice, adding the threat of capital punishment. If they still uh, persevered, I ordered them to be executed. For whatever the nature of their creed might be, I could at least not feel, I, I could at least feel not doubt that uh, contumacy, I can't pronounce the word in writing at least, and inflexible um, obstinacy deserved chastisement. Chastisement, torturing and murdering people. There were others possessed of the same folly, but because they were Roman citizens, I signed an order for them to be transferred to Rome. This dude's writing at the end of the first century. Yeah. Jackasses. That's it. This is a professional historian. And uh, so it's my somebody. So well, th that could have been the Christians adding it. No, it couldn't have. Um, I mean, I could get into the Celsus of Tonius, but uh, I'm not going to do that. The fact that we find archaeological proof of Pontius Pilate, people, say, oh, he didn't exist. Well, well, that name even makes sense. It, 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 I mean, it connects them with. Um, the Samnites. Any time we see it, it only confirms it. But then we'll get the, the pieces of copies of, of uh, books of the Bible, of New Testament, this size, going back to of John's Gospel, mind you. The one that people say, oh, that was written last. This size to the beginning of the second century, that means 100, uh, it's no later than 130. Uh, it, it's somewhere between 113 and 125. Uh, 
but yeah, the Romans were psychopaths. And I've even heard, uh, of all people, Roman Catholics say this one. Oh, well, the persecution wasn't continual. Yeah, it was. It wasn't always slaughtering people, uh, sending rabid dogs after them, crucifying them, and burning them alive. It wasn't always that. But yeah, they were persecuted. Uh, when he gets to Diocletian, funny thing that evil guy Constantine, he doesn't follow uh, Diocletian's order. In fact, he takes over the empire. He, he fights the rest of them because it was divided up. It was split in half, and it was, even that was divided up in half. So he had four kind of uh, generals or co-emperors or whatever in the empire. He conquers them all, and when, he, when he's finished doing that, in 313, he issues the Edict of Tolerance. It's not until Theodosius, in reaction to Julian the Apostates, um, amping up of, uh, of another, you know, hostilities towards the Christians, that uh, Theodosius says, that's it, no more paganism, Christianity is a state religion. And I don't remember... If I, I think uh, Julian the Apostate's the line of the Constantine line. I think he's the great, great, great grandson of Constantine. Uh, Christians, terrible people, right? Terrible, terrible. You know, as soon as they got power, they started killing everybody. Oh, where were the persecutions under from Constantine to Theodosius? Those were all Christian emperors. Julian the Apostate. Oh wait, that was he was he was going after the Christians. Such hatred of mankind, right? It's it's just awful, horrid, you know, perverse abominations, and you know, um, you know, de depraved. They're depraved. You know, excessive superstition, right? Uh, take a solemn oath not to commit any wicked deeds. Never to commit any fraud, theft, adultery. Never to falsify their word. Not to deny the trust when they should be called upon to deliver it up. Uh, you go, oh, but that might have come later. No, that came first. He was asking Trajan how he should deal with these Christians. So... I wonder what the fundamentalists, the fundamentalist evangelicals who hate Constantine. Would you be rather living at the after the Edict of Tolerance in 313, or when 50,000 Christians died for being Christians under Diocletian, just a few years earlier? Or how about uh, Maximius Thrax? Uh, I believe it was like. I think he was a co-emperor with Sept Septimus Severus, um, or Sept Severus, I mean, Sept Septimus Severus, um, in like the mid 100s, early to mid 100s. So you have Nero, then Claudius, and Trajan. These persecutions. Nero. I mean, it begins right, right when Christianity hits Rome. Boom. Because the Jews hate him, and the Jews are persecuting him right alongside the Romans, all the way up. The Jews were hated for a while, and that's initially why they think why the Christians got hit so bad. It's because of the, but these things were perverse to them. Why you turn the other cheek, you wouldn't fight. You're, you're deifying somebody who willingly walked to their own death. No, Rome is fighting and strength and all this BS. So, yeah, it's uh. Persecutions of the early Christians. Under Nero and Trajan. And Claudius was a persecutor of him. And so was Marcus Aurelius. And, I mean, the Commodus. And, yeah, they were always persecuted. They weren't always tortured and set on fire. Yeah, but they were always persecuted. Uh, Saturn, Saturninus, father and son, get, get murdered. I remember this from. We're ten years ago reading the accounts. 